So, first thing we do for the in-cab inspection is we're going to check our safety belt. Make sure it latches and unlatches properly. We're going to check the belt. Make sure it has no wears, tears, and frays. WTF. Get in our seat and properly adjust it. We're going to check our mirrors on both sides. Make sure we can see out them. Make sure they're properly adjusted. We're going to check our windshield. Make sure it's not cracked, which we can't see with these <laughs> covers, but it's watchable. We can't, uh, there's no cracks, there's no, uh, it's not leaking, and uh, the gasket seal is intact. We're going to check our heater and our defroster, make sure they're working properly so we, we can have a clear view when it starts getting uh, frosted. Check our, our horns, both our city and our highway. So we're going to check all of our gauges and lights. We're going to perform the swipe test. So I'm going to take the key and turn it to the on position, turn it one clockwise to the accessory position and I'm going to make sure all the gauges swipe so we see them come on and off and all of the lights, all the indicator lights on the dashboard light up for a few seconds and then after a few seconds they'll shut off indicating that there's no burnout bulb and that they're working properly. Especially paying attention to the ABS lights, both the ABS of the tractor and the ABS of the trailer. So let's do swipe test now. Turn to the on position. All the lights come on, they swipe, and after a few seconds, they should shut off. So we're going to check to make sure we have enough fuel and depth to perform this exercise. So now we're going to perform a safe start. This is an automatic, so we have nothing here, but in, a, a man, in your manual transmission, you want to press down on the clutch with it in neutral and both of our brakes engaged and turn the key in neutral. Excellent. Now we're going to watch our oil pressure, make sure we have oil pressure. We want to have between 35 and 75 PSI normal operating pressure. We're going to check our air pressure. We want it to build up between 85 and 100 PSI in 60 seconds or less. So we'll watch 60 seconds. It's slowly building. Air pressure for both, both tanks. And check our coolant temperature when it's fully warmed up it should be normal operating between 175 and 210 degrees Fahrenheit we're gonna check our our battery voltage and charging system make sure that's working properly so on the on the um, on the manual freight liners there'll be a black button right here on these automatics you have these plus and minus buttons and you just push it until you get to your battery voltage which is right here 14.1. Normal operating voltage should be between 12 and 14 volts. The governor should kick on. The governor should, should kick on. Uh, uh, should kick on stopping the pump from from filling air pressure between 120 and 140 psi or level specified by manufacturer. And that's when you hear the sneeze, the ch -ch -ch, indicating the governor's working properly, and we won't keep building pressure and blow up our tanks. We're going to check our windshield washer. We're, we're going to check our windshield wipers right here on the column. We're going to twist it. We're going to see the windshield wipers are working properly. And then we're going to check our windshield washer fluid. Make sure we have some and it's working properly by pressing in on the column stick right here. We're about 80 right here. So we're going to check in 60 seconds. It should go to 100 PSI. I'm going to, um, so we checked that good test. Now um, I'm going to ask Mr. Examiner, can I please lightly go on the throttle to, to build pressure. Yes, you can. So I'm not going to I'm not going to go throttle more than 1500 RPM. So just a light throttle just to build pressure and listen for the sneeze. We're going to check our indicator lights that are left turn signal indicator, right turn signal indicator, high beam indicator, four way flashers are all working properly. Getting we're at about 120 PSI, so we're going to listen for the sneeze. <laughs> that was it. Kind of quiet, but we heard it. So now I'm going to shut my engine off and perform um, all my brake tests. With the wheels chalked, I'm going to turn the key on to the auxiliary position without starting the engine. I'm going to release my brakes. I, I'm not chalked. Oh, you're not? No. Oh. <laughs> so <let me> chalk. <laughs> Before I go out to, ch to chalk my wheel, I'm going to take the key with me. Okay, now with the wheel chalked, I'm going to perform my applied brake test. So I'm going to release my brakes. Yep. 
first thing we're gonna do. Now I'm gonna fully depress on the service brake for 60 seconds and I should lose no more than four PSI in 60 seconds in a combination vehicle. So I'm gonna start it. Good test. Now I'm gonna perform my, uh, my warning light buzzer and indicator light test. I'm gonna continue fanning the brakes on and off and before my air pressure gets below 60 PSI or level specified by manufacturer, my low air warning buzzer and light should come on. So I'm gonna start fanning the brakes. Now what? Before it gets to below 60 PSI. I didn't, I didn't hear you. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Good, Good test. It's now I'm gonna perform my emergency brake test. I'm gonna continue fanning the brakes on and off and before my air pressure gets below 40 PSI or level specified by manufacturer and my, my um, trailer protection valve, my parking brake and my trailer brake should both pop out engaging. Good test. All right, so now I'm gonna perform my tug test. Mr. Examiner, right now I'm going to uh, take the key with me and go remove uh, the chocks with the, the brakes engaged so I can perform my tug test. So let's start the engine back up, perform a safe start, and let the air build back up. So now what we're going to do is perform a, uh, a tug test. We're going to check to see that our, our parking brake and our trailer brake are working. So with the uh, wheel chock removed, I'm going to... I'm going to uh, release the, tr the release the tractor brake and engage pull out the trailer brake so I can I can uh, do a tug test and see if it holds. So I'm going to put the vehicle in drive or second, a low gear because first or low could overcome the brakes. And I'm going to slowly release the clutch or slowly push on the throttle. And I should, just until I feel a tug indicating that the work, the brakes work properly. So I go, tug, good test. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, but with my uh, tractor parking brake. So I'm gonna release the trailer and I'm gonna pull off the tractor. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put it in second or drive, slowly release the clutch or slowly push on the throttle and until I feel a tug, good test. The service brake test. With my um, trailer and my parking brake both pressed in, released, I'm gonna go move forward straight at five miles per hour with a light grip on the steering wheel. And I'm gonna firmly press on the brakes and I'm gonna feel for the, the trailer tugging left or right or indicating a problem with suspension or the brakes or something else. So move forward five miles per hour, push on the service brake, Feel for tugging left or right. Okay, good test. I see it, huh? Behind the cab, we're gonna check up top here for our DOT tape. Make sure it is the L-shaped tape on both corners. Make sure it's reflective and it's the proper color. Now we're gonna check our pigtail, which is our air, our brake hose, our brake hoses, and our trailer light electrical connection. We're gonna make sure that there, there's no ABCs, abrasions, bulges, or cuts. They're not leaking. They are mounted properly and the electrical trailer connection is in the locked position to the trailer. We're going to check our glad hands, make sure they're securely mounted in the locked position and they're hooked up properly. We're going to check our fuel tank on the driver's side, make sure it's securely mounted, there's no missing hardware, it's not cracked, bent or broken and it's not leaking and our cap is securely tightened. We want to make sure our pigtail is not dragging on the truck or the catwalk and it is free to pull in and out while we make turns. Under this catwalk behind the truck, we're going to check our drive shaft. Make sure it's securely mounted. It's not any missing any uh, hardware. No, it's not bent, broken, or cracked. Behind there is our torsion bar. Make sure it is securely mounted not bent, broken, or cracked, no missing hardware, and the bushings are in proper good condition. Make sure our air tank is not leaking, not bent, broken, or cracked, and it is securely mounted, no missing hardware. 